Thank you, 4chan. Oh, rules one and two. Can't speak about that. Um, okay, coming up next, um, great guy, a friend of mine, uh, Aiden. He's uh, gonna keep the speeches going. Hey guys, I actually had a speech written for today. Unfortunately, we don't have it in hard copy, so I'm going to run off my head, and, well, it's not going to work. So, let's give it a shot anyway. So, we've got the, we've got the issue of the government censorship, and everyone's worried about this. Because, frankly, we have seen this with every oppressive regime that we have seen through history. With every re oppressive regime that we have seen through history, um, they have started this with censorship of the media. Now, we live in a, in a current climate where, a climate where everyone is afraid of terrorism. Or at least the government wants everyone to be afraid of terrorism. So, in order to protect us from terrorism, we are being stripped of our civil liberties. Police can now raid our homes if they suspect us of anything. And now they're censoring into shit, uh, uh, into the internet with anything that resembles illegal content. As it was said before, that, the, that in Finland, the major anti-censorship um, site was accidentally um, banned. Well, if you put it this way, we have a blacklist that no one can view. It seems to be that it's going to be done via TCP resets, which means that it's not actually going to come up with a page like all your nice little home filters that say, this web page is blocked. You're just going to try to go to it, and it's not going to be there. So, for all you know, the site might not genuinely be there. So what's going to end up happening is, we have a government with a blacklist that can be altered without telling anyone, can have things accidentally put on to it without telling anyone and the only people who know will be the people who run the sites and unless they can get their message out which they're not going to get out through the mainstream media in fact the only medium that they're probably going to be able to get it out through is going to be the internet and so if the people being censored are trying to talk through the internet to tell people they're going to be censored I think you can guess that we're probably not going to hear their voices so this is a major issue. We are currently talking about basically the beginnings of the complete annihilation of our free speech. Now that may sound a bit excessive, but with every step that we take, with every small amount of our civil liberties that we give away, we bring that ourselves one tiny step closer towards losing all of them. So that next little step doesn't seem as far. If 20 years ago we were talking about losing all our, uh, basically moving to the stage where we are now, it would probably seem excessive. If we were talking about people, about um, in the UK, uh, people being bugged, everything being recorded, if in, in Australia, people being, in, basically people having their doors bashed down because there was a slight suspicion of terrorism, people being held for ridiculous amounts of time on no actual charge because there's vague suspicion of terrorism. Each step that we have taken along the way, over the last century, over the last basically our entire lives as, modern, as the modern world, um, has taken us one step closer. So, if we continue to allow these small steps, which at the time may seem small, with the exception of this one, which seems ridiculously excess excessive, so I don't know why people are accepting it at all. Um, if we continue to allow all of these, then we will keep bringing ourselves one tiny step closer to every bit of science fiction dystopia that we have ever read about. We do not want this. We do not need this. Every major stakeholder says no to this. Every citizen, well, almost every citizen in Australia who is thinking with their right mind, who, want, who is happy to act as an adult, act as a mature being. I am 17 years old. I am more mature than the majority of these politicians. What does that say about our government? We cannot let this go on any longer. We cannot let ourselves take further steps towards a controlled society. We must fight for our freedoms. Every time that we have a question like this, we have to ask ourselves, how will this impact the future? What could this allow? Will our children have to deal with the ramifications of our actions? My generation has to clean up the ecological disaster that is our world. 
will our next generation, if our generation, if this generation even succeeds, will the generation after me have to deal out a deal with the social and the political disaster that will come from letting our society be overrun by the governments and letting ourselves surrender all our freedoms one by one? I don't think so. I will not stand for this. I don't know anyone who would stand for this. And I don't think anyone in this crowd will stand for this. And I don't think Australia will allow this to go ahead. Thank you. Awesome. Thanks, Aiden. I'm um, going to have Dave come up and he's just going to run over the, uh, an issue of the security of the filters. And uh, that's about it. But Dave, everybody. Hey ladies and gents, uh, I'm Dave, I run bandthisurl.com, uh, we're a few tech journos who write about every other aspect of the uh, filters and censorship that the media isn't covering. Uh, recently I spoke to a white hat hacker and asked him about the security of the filters. Uh, it turns out that if these filters are put into place, there is a very good likelihood that hackers will be able to get into them because they are red hat boxes. There are easy security vulnerabilities to be exploited and because all the traffic that they're going to analyse is HTTP based, it means that anything that you type on the internet can be intercepted as part of a man in the middle attack. This means that whatever you write in an email can be accessed by hackers. If you have passwords in your email addresses, they can grab it. There are huge security implications for all of this and it's more than just a political and social issue that we have to deal with here. Uh, these filters won't work and you need to write to your local member to oppose them and tell everyone else you know about the filters in more detail. Hit up the site, check us out, thank you.